Well, the man fronting the Motor Trade Association campaign against the changes is V8 racer and four-time Bathurst 1000 winner Greg Murphy. He's racing at Pukekohe today. I spoke with him a short time ago and began by asking him how New Zealanders approach the issue of self-motivated car maintenance. Well, unfortunately, the majority aren't very good at it. Um, the statistics show us that uh, people aren't uh, necessarily on time to get their regist uh, registration sorted out. They aren't on time to get their warrant of fitnesses done. Um, and uh, we, we lack behind on servicing as well. And it comes down to the fact that, uh, you know, we, we're just not that, um, I suppose, uh, obedient when it comes to those things. We don't have the knowledge when it comes to the mechanical understanding of cars. And it's simple things. Simple things like tyres, checking tyres and knowing and understanding about what a tyre is all about. Out. Those things are, are basic stuff, but unfortunately, unless someone tells you about the you know the need and the requirement to check these things, then you're not aware of it. And you know, through the experience that I had, majority of people don't understand why we have tyres on a car and why they have tread or we have a minimum tread depth. So it's it's very important that um, either we educate or we you know have a system in place that we've got now that works to, to ensure that people do the right thing. And saying that, the warrant of fitness, I understand, was introduced back in the 30s, and now we're building cars that are safer and theory need less maintenance. So do we need to be regulating as often as we do at the moment, given that our cars are stronger, you know, safer and requiring less maintenance? Well, unfortunately, Rachel, we've got um, uh, one of the oldest fleets in the world. The average age of our cars is over 14 and a half years. So yes, we've got a lot of newer, safer cars around the place with a lot of safety features, but the average age of New Zealand's cars, motorist cars, is 14 and a half years. So a lot of those cars aren't you know, got, or don't have the latest safety features and, and you know, a lot of cars are un, not maintained well through their entire life, so they become very unsafe very quickly. And also, it doesn't actually matter how new your car is, how safe it is when it, when it rolls out off the showroom floor. Some people do 30, 40, 50,000 Ks in the first six months on a, in a new car. So, you know, those cars already have got worn tyres, worn brakes and things that need maintenance. It's not just about the fact that it's a brand new, that it'll be fine for the first three years, first six years and we don't have to do anything. Cars wear out, things wear out, mechanical things wear out and they need to have maintenance and tyres, brakes, suspension, all those kinds of things are incredibly important. So the more you use your car, the more money and more time and more maintenance that it will need. Why is the Motor Trade Association so cheesed off about this? Is it just that some garages are going to be out of pocket because of this? Is that what annoys them so much? No, well, I'm, I'm sure there's no doubt that um, there's a lot of mechanical re repair shops, regardless if they're MTA dealers or not, that are going to um, maybe lose a little bit of business. But at the end of the day, I have no doubt that most of those repair shops and all those those mechanical shops are actually going to do probably quite well out of it because when the one if it becomes a one-year annual check, when that one year comes up, there's going to be a lot more work to do on a lot of these cars than what there there is at the six monthly. So I'm not so sure about that. Me personally. Purely safety. I've been doing uh, um, safety advocate stuff for the last five or six years with the MTA, going to schools and trying to educate kids about the, the dangers and the risks associated with driving and also about safety of motor vehicles. And we know that most people are not aware of these things that need to be checked, tyres and things, as I've mentioned. And for me, this is about lives. This should be looked at about saving lives. And the government has said that they say that defects will cause, potentially, if they change the rules, um, a minimum of seven more deaths a year on the roads. I'm sorry, but I don't understand where that's a good thing, to change the regulations to have more deaths on our roads. I don't understand how that works. You are paid by the MTA though, aren't you, Greg? We do have to clarify that. I am, I've got a contract with the MTA, not for this campaign. This was an on top of deal that I said I'm more than happy to front because I believe in it. And if anyone wants to bring the politics into it, and use that as, an, as something to try and attack us on what we're trying to do, well, they can go ahead and do it, but that's, that's, they'll be doing that uh, on their own, own, um, their own ideas and their own ideals and their own opinions. Um, I can quite honestly stand here right now and say this has got nothing to do with anything to do with me, with money and contracts. This is to do with the five, six years so far that I've done going to schools trying to educate kids about road safety, and this is about saving lives and nothing more to do than that, just saving lives. All right, I have to ask, uh, Murph, the V8 behind you that you're driving, I suspect that doesn't have a warrant of fitness. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have a warrant of fitness, but it gets scrutinised every single time it turns up at a racetrack. Race We've got four blokes back here who, for the whole weekend, make sure that the thing is safe, 
and, and that everything's bolted together properly, that it's not going to break down. Um, so we do that every day that we're at a racetrack. Most people drive their cars around aimlessly for days on days on days on end and have no comprehension of what's involved in keeping their car uh, mechanically sound and safe on the roads. I know what that takes. All right, Greg Murphy, thank you for your time. Good luck today and drive safely. I will, thank you. Greg Murphy speaking to me a short time ago from Pukekohe Park Raceway. Let's bring